So we may or may not see an elephant today, but if we do, we're ready to get it on film. Um, and hopefully we don't have any bad encounters like other people during the tournament because someone ended up getting their tuk-tuk flipped and All right, so we are back in our beloved tuk-tuk and continuing the tuk-tuk road trip adventure so we are heading northeast to a place called Batikol. It's on the east coast. Um, I'm not too sure how I'm going to do the videos, but I'm just going to play it day by day because I'm pretty sure every day is going to be one big adventure and there's going to be plenty of places to see along the way. Um, but yeah, at the moment, we're just going to make our way towards there and see what we can find along the way. Let's do it. Okay, already not the best start to the morning. I ended up leaving my sunnies on top of the tuk-tuk roof and figured out I lost it like when we got a few minutes down the road. But luckily, the owner of the previous accommodation we stayed at found it because it just fell off when we left. Thank God. Yeah. So, we just ordered lunch here in this little shop. And it's like Russian roulette <laughs> for food around Sri Lanka. I feel like it pretty much relates to Asia in general. But you just don't know how spicy it's going to be. Um, this right here, I don't know what it is in it, but it is extremely spicy. My nose is watering. We're tearing up. It's like it doesn't yeah, stop too. You like take yeah. a break from eating, and it gets worse. And then you just start getting sweats. <coughs> and you accidentally inhale it just like I did then. <laughs> oh man, I think it's like coming through my nostril. Yeah. This is a struggle to eat in Sri Lanka. All right, so we are currently on the B35. So this is the main elephant road. We are just setting up all cameras in every single position. So we got this big camera on a selfie stick here. We got a GoPro here. We got Tal's little camera in here as well. So we are making sure we're not going to miss out on any of these elephants. So the B35 road is a road, that is a highway that just cuts straight through the Yala National Park. So I went through this road during the Tuk Tuk tournament and I ended up seeing three elephants. So we may or may not see an elephant today, but if we do, we're ready to get it on film um, and hopefully we don't have any bad encounters like other people during the tournament because someone ended up getting their tuk-tuk flipped and another person ended up stopping in the middle of the road and one of the elephants chased through them so you really got to be careful around the wild elephants here guys because you do not know what they'll do and they are very unpredictable. I could ride the tuk tuk throughout the rest of this trip, but sadly, a couple days ago, I had an encounter with police when I was driving the tuk tuk through town. They just randomly pulled me over and asked for my license, but I totally forgot I did not have my specific Sri Lankan license. 
because I got given it during the Tuk Tuk tournament, but I'm pretty sure I left my license form in the Tuk Tuk that I was in, and I didn't even think about it before I even began on this trip. But yeah, that's something to think about, guys. If you're ever driving a Tuk Tuk throughout Sri Lanka, you have to make sure you have a proper Sri Lankan license. Um, so the Tuk Tuk rental place, they organize the whole license before I arrive to Sri Lanka, but that's something to make sure of. So hopefully, I, I contacted Tuk Tuk Rental a couple days ago, and they're gonna check to see if they can find it, but hopefully, they can find it down the track so I can drive. Hey, Tal, what's that time? It's coconut time, coconut It's time. coconut time. Everybody, everybody's coconut time. We gotta at least have a coconut a day throughout Sri Lanka. And right now is the time to have a coconut. It's coconut time! So the best thing about a king coconut is once you get all the delicious coconut juice out, you can get them to crack it open in half. So crack it open. Then you got all this delicious coconut meat inside. Just a casual road blockage going on in Sri Lanka. It's the magic of driving, driving in Sri Lanka. <laughs> Sometimes you just cows disappear on the road, <laughs> and like it's not one cow, it's like fifty cows. It's a whole pack of cows. <laughs> you get a herd every once in a while. Yeah, get off the road. What are you doing on the road? Like usual, it's beautiful weather. All day, but right at the end of the day, when the sun sets, we get this crappy weather. We got a storm of brewing ahead of us, and it is not looking nice. So we decided to get some street side dinner and I have no idea what this is. It's just like a plate full of pork mixtures. Tal informed me that it's organs. I don't even know if I have fried organs before. This is organs, yeah. That's good. That's really good. I like that. Um, this. That's more like a chicken, that one. I don't know what this powder is either. It's like, um, it's like a weird curry powder. And this is like sort of skin meat. So we've got veggies, potatoes, and the best thing is like a falafel. Mm. Yeah, overall, not a bad dinner. Okay, so after an extremely long drive, we have finally made it to the east province of Sri Lanka to Batu Clare. So we are staying at a really nice accommodation at, at the moment. So this is called Riviera Resort. So it's, it's very nice. Um, it's quite late though because we have just been on the road for so long today. And I found out that too that my license hasn't been found. So I'm not too sure if I can sort that out down the track, but Tal looks like at the moment Tal is doing an awesome job driving the whole way. And tomorrow we have a few adventures around Batu Cloud, so be sure to watch that video. And in the meantime, we're gonna get some rest. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Not too much today, just a pretty chilled back drive. So thanks for watching, follow your dreams, escape from your comfort zone, and I'll see you another road trip adventure. Bye!